When we think about the musculature as soft tissue, and Richardson et al. have talked about categorizing tissues, and a lot of times it's talked about through the lumbopelvic hip complex or the core musculature, but these concepts can be extrapolated through the rest of the body. So we have the idea or concept of local musculature versus global musculature. If we think about local musculature, it tends to be deep, like the rotatories or the lumbar multifidi that are going to run joint to joint or small segment to small segment. These muscles are going to be anticipatory in nature. They're going to have that feed forward mechanism to them. They're going to activate before movement actually engages. Versus the global musculature that's going to be further away or multi-joint, a little bit more superficial and going to be more reactive to what's happening. The local musculature is also going to be lower force producers made up of a higher percentage of type 1 muscle fibers, great for endurance, low force production over long periods of time. Sometimes these are called postural muscles. The global musculature has higher levels of force production, higher percentage of type 2 and sometimes type 2x muscle fibers, produces force at a higher level, but not a lot of sustainability with that. Now, our local musculature is segmental, as we mentioned, whether it's running from a transverse process to a spinous process, or spinous process to a spinous process, or transverse process to a transverse process. Think local, small little stops within a chain. I live in the suburb of Boston when I'm in town, and if I'm looking at the subway and Green Line, that's our train or subway there, the stop to stop to stop to stop, local stop, stop to stop, versus one train that might go from city to city. So I'm talking locally from stop to stop. If we think about the control that they have here, these local musculature, they control what's called the neutral zone. Not like a neutral zone in fraction, like in football where someone's off sides, or not the neutral zone in hockey as you're moving blue line to blue line, but it's this center of space that's safe to operate within. It's an area where there isn't going to be an unnatural or unnecessary force going through a disc or compression onto a nerve or pinching of a facet joint. This neutral zone is this safe area of motion that we have throughout the spine. If this is one vertebrae, and this is just how it attaches or the spinal column to the next vertebrae, there's this oscillatory space, there's this movement in all directions that's safe. Movement is okay, but if we go outside of that neutral zone, that's when we can start to stress and strain discs, put pressure on the spinal column, and pinch facet joints, and cause stress to cartilage and ligamentous tissues. The outer range of motion is controlled by the global musculature, the bigger ranges. We're talking local, the smaller segmental, or neutral zone control here.